What's going on guys? Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm your host T. Welcome to the Adventures of TNT. Now today we're doing another Megadeth request. Yes, this is coming from our patron Sailor John in which he has requested this song uh, after he had seen my reaction to Washington is next. And the funny thing about it is, is that after I had listened to that song, I did a lyrical breakdown of that song and just hearing everything that it was about, I was like, holy shit, Dave Mustaine is a motherfucking prophet. This guy has predicted the future with biological warfare and all kinds of calamity that's going on right now. And Sailor John was like, yo, he was like, after you listen to that, check this out. And the song is called Endgame. So he told me to go ahead and check out this track and give my thoughts on it to see how it compares in the overall scope of things. But first, I want to go ahead and plug his YouTube channel because we all know what's going on in this world. And uh, if you're watching the news, it can be very doom and gloom. And one thing that I've been finding comfort is, is watching vlogs. And that's one of the main reasons why my wife and I have been uploading some of our vlog vlogs. But Sailor John, he actually has some really good vlogs on his channel in which he, he's traveled a lot and he's explored a lot of unique places. And the way he does his vlogs is very unique. And so, um, you know, when I do have idle time, I do like to check out his work. And it kind of lets me escape from what's actually going on right now. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this song. Uh, once again, this is Megadeth with Endgame.
Wow. Goodness gracious. Okay, um, wow, that was amazing. That was, that was crazy. That's crazy. Because before I was sitting here talking about, you know, Dave Mustaine, he's a prophet and he predicted the coronavirus or whatever. And with Endgame, this just takes it up to a whole different level because it makes you think about what happens when, uh, you know, everything that the government is trying doesn't work out. And, you know, even now they're talking about, you know, issuing stimulus checks to everybody to tie them over while people are in quarantine or self-isolation and everything. But it makes you think, you know, what happens when uh, this this kind of thing doesn't work out and people go through their rations or their food or whatever and, you know, society really just breaks down, you know, and we have to turn to martial law or we have to turn to, uh, to the government to start enforcing things, forcing people to stay quarantined or forcing people to, to cooperate. Um, does that mean that, you know, they're going to put chips in them or uh, take away their guns or, or just take away their rights, you know, take away some freedom so that people can have freedom, uh, you know, and, and, and then it's like, what do you do with all these people? You know, what do you do with the survivors? Um, do you gather them up and, and put them in concentration camps and stuff? It's, it's crazy, really crazy. And it's really interesting when you think about this, because earlier this week, Donald Trump, he had recently announced that he is um, invoking war powers as president and so this is in order to combat the coronavirus and it makes you think like you know could or would he actually use these powers to place people in concentration camps so very interesting you know it's very interesting to think about so i think that's one of the main reasons why i really love dave mustaine's writing because uh he just takes things to a whole different level and he just makes you think about all these different scenarios it's, just crazy. Uh, shout out to you, Sailor John. Guys, uh, go ahead and thank Sailor John down in the comment section for requesting this song. This was amazing. This was a mind-blowing track. Uh, aside from the actual lyrical content, the, the music was really good. This was a badass song. This was a jam. Uh, and then that chorus, that chorus, uh, the solo that kept coming on during that chorus, that was fucking great. Now, I do recognize those guitar riffs. It does sound like somebody I have heard in Megadeth before I just can't think of the name because I know there's just so many other um, guitars that they have uh, uh, well I know it definitely wasn't Marty Friedman wasn't definitely it wasn't Marty Friedman and definitely wasn't uh, Kiko so it might be Chris Poland I'm not sure but guys let me know down below in the comment section because this the sound of this had it had an older uh, traditional Megadeth sound from it even though it does feel like a newer track um, but, uh, but guys, let me know what you thought. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you think about, you know, Dave and his predictions, you know, and uh, even if he's wrong, you know, with the way things would head, what do you think would actually happen if, you know, society did fall through, you know? Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts down below, guys. You know, I read each and every comment and uh, I love interacting with you guys down below in the comment section. So leave your thoughts down below. Let me know what you thought about this song as well as this reaction and I'll see you next time. Peace.